Hear me out here, guys. It's been stuck in my head. Alanis Morissette voice, okay? What it all comes down to is that everything is going to be fine, fine, fine. Because I got one hand on my penis and the other one is squeezing my ball sack. What do you think? I got one hand on my ball sack and the other one's jerking off to... You gotta, you gotta find the right series of words to go at the end. Cause I got one hand on my ball sack and the other one is tickling my asshole. Like this could, this could work, man. <clears throat> I'm soft, but I'm gooning. I'm hard, but I cannot come. I'm, <laughs> I'm a shower, but it's frigid, baby. Cause what it all comes down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I got one hand on my ball sack and the other one's tickling my asshole. There we go, there we go. <clears throat> They're running Young Sheldon ads on your stream. You are so cooked. Guess what, buddy? You're watching Young Sheldon ads on my stream. I'm getting paid. That's CBS money. That's that Les Moonves paycheck, bro. That shit comes on at like 7.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. Only people watching it have a net worth of like eight figures. Yeah, sure, it's 98% their house, but still. Mm, bazinga. Um, okay, what are we doing today? We're going to do uh, the dolls. And as you may have heard, if you watched Kate's stream yesterday, we are away next week. We're on vacation. Starting on Friday, I will be gone Friday, obviously Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, coming back on Monday. So we'll be fitting in Balatro while we can. Two things, oh my God, first off, I had that Balatro run. I'm not going to regale you too much with the war stories. I got like 4.38 times E to the 17. How did it happen? Long story short, I'm, I'm going to keep the engine, um, like I, I'm going to keep it as short as possible. Using DNA, I turned my entire deck into purple seal steel aces. Uh, and then I had mime blueprint blueprint. Mime makes every card in hand trigger again and blueprint copies the effect and it does chain off of itself. Then I had seven double tags. And I skipped a blind that gave me plus three hand size next round. So I drew like 24 purple seal steel aces. Uh, and played f four of a kind because it had my highest mult. So I had like 21 or something steel aces in hand that each got triggered three times. I was running the numbers. It was something like, it was like one, my, my mult got multed by like 1.5 to the power of 60, <laughs> which is a lot. The, I don't know, the molt was like into the billions, I think. The chips were a little light, but the molt was into the billions, I think. It was some good stuff. Have you figured out what E means yet? Yeah, I figured out what it means functionally. It means that uh, Local Thunk designed the UI, and then people started getting scores that were too high, and he figured out he had to get some scientific notation in there. E probably means you should go outside, but it feels so good when the numbers start popping out of the damn UX. <laughs> When's it coming out? Unknown. You'll have to watch every single Balatro uh, video all the way through. I already do. Let's freaking go! Hello. Oh, the second thing? Mm, no big deal. Just a new 60-minute PB on the Peloton. Big ups to uh, the Adriatic Highway in Croatia. Nice little scenic ride. Hello. Hey. <laughs> 2008. You can hear it, right? Yes. Oh, this is just dance. No, no, uh, yes, it's just dance. Come on. 
come on, come on. That's like, that's too easy. Bass goes crazy on that. I mean, I mean it's, I'm not mad that it's too easy. It's nice that it was easy. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's a song I've never heard. Ooh. Spin that record, baby. Diddy, diddy, do jazz dance. Gonna be okay. Sky do Okay, that's a good one. It's a good, I like Lady Gaga. You know, I was going to say as much as anybody, but that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. Lots of people like her more than I do, but I like her okay. She's in Joker too. Oh, you mean uh, Joker de? Un petit Beaujolais pour les enfants, s'il vous plaît? Yes, okay. C'est vrai. C'est business. C'est business. C'est juste orange. Puis je l'ai à la salle de bain, s'il vous plaît. I thought that was Dynamite by Ty Cruz. Mm. I had a weird French moment uh, when I was picking up my daughter from a class. A mother held the door open for me and uh, I said, thank you. And then she kept walking and then she turned around like three seconds later and she said, parlez-vous français? And I didn't know how to respond. So my dumb ass said, non, like non. And then she said, uh, oh, I thought I heard you say merci. And I said, oh, no, sorry. And then I was chiding myself. I was like, why did I say, oh, no, sorry in English? She doesn't speak English. And then I remembered that she said in English, I thought I heard you say merci. And I was just like, this is just, we got to scrap this one and go again. Like nothing about this arrangement worked out at all. <laughs> it was cooked from the get-go. Hey, can I tell you another story? I think my brain is melting down. I swear to you, it's 100% true. I had a dream last night that I was eating goldfish, like goldfish crackers. Uh, I woke up and put my Bluetooth earbud in my mouth as if it was a goldfish cracker. And then like, as soon as it touched my lips, it was like a, a jolt of adrenaline. My brain went like, whoa, buddy. Like, let's get some more uh, blood in your brain right now. Like, let's, let's get the alpha brainwaves cooking here. You almost just killed yourself by swallowing your Bluetooth earbud. And I was like, <sighs> the heart rate probably went up to like 150. I was like, <sighs> <sighs> and then I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back to sleep. 15 seconds later, <sighs> shoo, <laughs> shoo. That's scary, man. You don't have like control of your brain when you're sleeping that that would have been the, the worst way to die of all time maybe i wouldn't die but like i'm sure it's not good for you it's all sorts of fucking plastics and rare earth metals and shit <laughs> chubby emu already did the video where someone ate an airpod what happened though they died they died it exploded inside of them i mean it does have some kind of battery in it right their throat got corroded by the battery. They presented to the emergency room. Okay, fucking chat GPT ass nurse. We love eating lithium, don't we people? We do, we do. Me swallowing a lithium ion battery and then farting a flamethrower out of my anus. Doesn't lithium react with air, like on contact? I don't know how much <laughs> lithium is in a lithium battery, but I did do high school chemistry, folks. I did. I didn't like it, and I did not inhale. Here we are, gamers. This is so doable. Pokedoku, monotypes, dual types, final evolutions. I'm not calling nine, though it could happen, but I'm calling easy eight here, okay? Dual type ground, Swampert. This is our go-to ground water. The final evolution of ground, in hindsight, perhaps should have saved Swampert for this one. But ground, there's no shot that Groudon is not ground. His, his name is an anagram for on ground. He has no evolutions. Bro, he is the, that's the final evolution, man. Ex does not include Pokemon without an evolutionary line. Then what the hell is Primal, bro? How you know a tort lawyer made Pokedoku? 
dual type ghost Pokemon. Gengar. Mono type ghost Pokemon. I'm going to hit you straight up. It's got to be Ghastly, bro. Ghastly's not poison. Is he flying? Is he ghost flying? Check. Can I get a check here? He's poison? He has no... He's purple. He's literally poison gas. He's literally made up, for one. So he's literally nothing. He's literarily poison gas, maybe. There's nothing literal about him. He comes before Gengar. Sometimes they, they add in another type, bro. Sometimes they add in another type. Like Charmander's a monotype fire. And then Charmeleon's monotype fire. And then Charizard, they're like, guess what? G is flying now. You're right, they sometimes do. If no one got me, I know Origin got me when I'm right. Some people in chat are dyed in the wool haters. Even if I'm right, they're like, you're wrong. Some people in the chat are dyed in the wool stands. They're like, even when I'm wrong, they're like, I'm right. Origin is the, the enlightened centrist. When I'm right, he tells me I'm right. When I'm wrong, he tells me I'm wrong. That's my barometer. Ghastly was just ghost in Gen 1. Well, well, well. Perhaps a bit more sodium chloride next time. No, he wasn't? Oh, well, well. Lies, lies. In my Twitch chat, it's more likely than you think. Okay, dual type fire, Charizard. We just said it. I feel like seven was a bit of a throw. Forget about this. Like, listen, I don't know Typhlosion Hizui. I don't know Darmanitan Galar Zen. I don't know Aegis slash Shield. This is from Dota. Um, Misdreavus, I could have gotten. So her ass is purple, but not uh, poison. Okay. And she flies, but she's not flying. Sure, no problem. Grudon... Grudon Primal. Okay, I got, I got annoyed for a second because I thought that this was this one. That's fine. No big deal. I did Grudon down here. That was my mistake. Grudon Primal. Least common. Swinub? That, that's a tough... Oh, yeah, that's a... Hey, oh, why would you say uh, Swinub? Mammal Swine is an ice Pokemon. Listen, you so-and-so. They add duo types in evolutions all the time. What the heck is Basque Legion male? Or Wormadam Sandy? <laughs> I, I'm going to be real with you. I kind of... I'm vibing with... Uh, Colossal, don't get me wrong, but Wormadam Sandy. It's, what is it, like a piece of pizza with a bird on it? Like, what is it? It looks like a piece of frozen pepperoni pizza. Why not regular pizza? Regular pizza um, is much more of an isosceles triangle. They almost, equilateral is a frozen pizza. When you cut a frozen pizza into quarters, a pizza that you get from a pizzeria delivered will be more isosceles than this, without a doubt. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm building my, uh, my first Netflix stand-up special. I'm writing... Shh, 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 shh. They love the frozen pizza bit. They, they, you ever notice how when you get a pizza from the store, it's cut into eights, but when you get a frozen pizza, you can only cut it into quarters? What is the deal with airline food? Brother, I honestly... God is my witness. I think they're trying their best. I mean, they got a lot of things to, you know, get under control. They're flying an airplane. They got 200 people on it. They got all their luggage and stuff like that. And then people are like, oh, my ratatouille doesn't taste fresh. And you're like, brother, listen. I'm not saying you have to go like, thank you for the ratatouille. But let's at least like, you know, keep our, <laughs> keep our priorities straight here. <laughs> Microwave mac and cheese tastes eight times better. Well, yeah. Are you buying like 15,000 servings of it a day? And then loading it onto like a metal cylinder where 250 people get served by three underpaid individuals who fucking hate you? Yes? All right. Well, I, don't, I apologize. I wasn't familiar with your, uh, with your game. I still think like being a flight attendant is like a crazy job. It's like when the plane takes off, 80% of your job is being like a server, but... 0.001% of the time, you're expected to basically be like a, a paramedic. <laughs> or I don't know if you're expected to sacrifice your life for passengers' lives, but like if things go wrong, it's like you are not a waiter anymore. You are like 
priority number one project manager for saving as many lives as possible. I feel like if, if shit goes down like inside of the Cactus Club Cafe, I'm not going to turn to the server and be like, what do we do? <laughs> Everybody in the restaurant, uh, bracing positions. Happy birthday to you. Happy, okay. Anyway. Acted.wtf. Here we are. Brother, this is too easy. I like it when it's a little, a little hard. <laughs> this is fucking Shrek 2, boy. Julie Andrews, Eddie Murphy, Antonio Banderas, John Cleese is Shrek 2, my dude. It's Shrek the third. <laughs> it's still good, though. Still good. That's a fun game. Dude, I, I gotta... Hang on. Let me control D these. These are good dolls, man. I love movie dolls. I'm sorry. It's basically like we took the Sporkle movie quizzes that I was doing and then made it so I could not be cyberbullied for just playing them. You think it's Sporkle HQ? They're like scrambling right now. We have to release our own doll! Daily puzzles are popping off. Did you see the traction? New York Times connection is up 11,000% on social this week. Reinvent the trivia format and gab it on my desk by Friday. Brandon Stokely was one of three wide receivers to total over 1,000 receiving yards on this 2004 AFC South team. Easy, bro. Falcons. It can't be the Falcons. Because the Falcons were, they played the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And the Patriots are in the AFC. 2004, who was airing it out in 2004? The Chiefs were airing it out in 2004. Trent Green was throwing bombs. Phillip Rivers maybe on the Chargers. Drew Brees on the Chargers before that. John Bryan on the Keys right now. Okay, Chiefs. All right, wrong. Who was it? Colts. Colts are in the AFC South. You know, Indianapolis is like 10 seconds from the Canadian border. And Kansas City is like 400 miles south of that. It said AFC South, brother? Bro, Kansas City is fucking way more south than Indianapolis, bro. I don't care what uh, Roger Goodell drew the lines of the fucking American map as in the NFL. I'm talking about longitude and latitude, brother. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That's Jack Black's head. Now that face is going to take me a second, but that's definitely Jack Black's head. And then the face is... The face is a man I've never seen before. I, I'm gonna, this is a huge, I'm, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. That's all I can think of is that it's just from the eyes. Oh, Joe Mangianello. Yeah, I can totally see Joe Mangianello. Oh, I can see Joe Mangianello. I can see his eyes, man. I think you're right. I think it's Joe Mangianello. I chimed in with you. Haven't you people ever heard of closing a gosh darn door is a recurring lyric from the uh, song, which is called... Listen, I was listening to the songs from the Queen Mary at this point. Um, I think it's called I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. Is that correct? Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I could name another Panic! at the Disco song until they came out with high hopes in like 2018. Well, we recovered a little bit. I gotta see if you could show me the correct answers. It is Joe Mangianello. <laughs> oh, nine in the afternoon. Your eyes are as high as the moon. You could cause you can't cause we do. The song, one of the songs you play once in Rock Band 2 and then never play again. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. I played it a lot in Rock Band. No disrespect, were you asked at the virtual instruments? Your ass really going to play the expert guitar track on nine in the afternoon? 
dun, 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 dun. You could be going da 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 Nobody gonna take my car. I'm going come on, man. Boom, doo, 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 doo. Ooh, she's a killing machine. She's got everything. You know what? Like there's, there's phrases interlinked there, bro. You you can't be wasting your time with nine in the afternoon. Now, I'm not saying you got to go Judas Priest painkiller on this. You know, you might scare the hose, but you could you could at least bring some heat. Kansas City and Indianapolis are within, are within one degree latitudinally. Okay. Simple question. Which one's more north and which one's more south? Me describing how close things are? Yeah, yeah. They're only off by one degree of latitude. Yeah, they must be really close as soon as you start using latitude as the measure of distance. Most people would be like, it's a 10-minute walk. I'll be like, well, within the context of the size of the earth, it's pretty small. <laughs> it's like when, I, when my daughter asks if our errand is going to take a long time. Well, I'm like, in the cosmic sense, no, humanity's only existed for the blink of the universe's eye. In a literal sense, on the time scale that's actually relevant to human beings, yes, it will be, you know, I don't know, like 0.05% of your entire life on planet earth so far, but you're pretty young, so... You know, don't worry about it too much. Where Goldilocks is discovered by the three bears. Bed. In your face. Overt. Losing player in the 2024 Super Bowl. 49er. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Purdy. Jeans material. Denim. Niner! Okay. Niner. Can, there we go. He was right. I, was, I don't know why I put numbers in it, though. I was like, 4, 9, ERS. Glide, redo, tree. Something a kid might draw with brown and green crayons. People online be like, I just can't solve these New York Times puzzles. These New York Times puzzles are too hard. Something a kid might draw with brown and green crayons. <laughs> Sorry. Why not losing team instead of losing player? Well, because the Niner is not the name of the team. A Niner is, is a member of the 49ers, colloquially. Cheeses familiarly? Most of us have no clue what that would be. Then maybe, no disrespect, maybe puzzles aren't your aren't your bag. Maybe you'd be better off doing like a Sudoku or something like that. Leave the word puzzles to the word cells. Shape rotators, like not everything in the word cell puzzles is going to make sense. It's the same way you show me, you know, three orthographic projections of a, the back of a truck and say, it's simple. How many fucking cubes are on it? I'm like, I don't know. A full load? Otherwise, I'm assuming they'd put more. They're like very cute. Actually, the answer is 51. Well, actually, the answer is you can't know, but we can make assumptions that indicates that the domain means it's a minimum of 51. And I'm like, okay, buddy, how about you do that? I'm going to go do Wordle today. Mm, Bulgaria. Latvia. Hmm. Hmm. Azerbaijan. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Kazakhstan. Hmm. Afghanistan. Hmm. Bangladesh. That's cooler. That's too far. I honestly thought you were here, which does not make sense. Hmm, Nepal. Hmm, I thought you were there too, to be honest with you. Turkmenistan. Hmm, Tajikistan. Hmm, Kyrgyzstan. Then, 
<laughs> Uzbekistan. Hmm. <laughs> really delightful. Hmm. 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 India. Hmm. <laughs> I'm losing it. Hmm. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Hmm. Hmm. Egypt. Hmm. <laughs> Turkey. Hmm. <laughs> Syria. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Palestine. Mm. Iraq. Oh. Bahrain. Oh. <laughs> 22 guesses. You know what got cooked up here? Things got very confusing geographically because of the freaking whatever this incredibly important body of water is called, the Persian Gulf. That's, that's the Red Sea. Nah, bro, like this is the Red Sea, right? Because like it, this gulf caused the geography to not make sense to me. Because I was like, how can it be close to like you and you, but you're so far away? It's because of the Indian Ocean, brother. Holy... It's not like your ass was coming out with Bahrain right off the back. Like this country, like it doesn't, it's smaller, no disrespect. I know it has a GP, um, but it's smaller and that makes it better than me, <laughs> by the way, because I don't know well, I have one, but we don't see her very often. Um, it's smaller than the distance between uh, Indianapolis and Kansas City. It's less than one degree of, of latitude in its entirety. What about Vancouver to LA? I'm calling it. That's three degrees right there. This no, no, this is not bad. This is like um it's this is Latvia, bro. Yep. This is Suriname. It's gotta be something on the north coast of South America. Or set Buddy. You think I don't recognize Panama when I see it? That's where the canal goes through right there. Are you, are you, maybe you're in the Caribbean islands, okay? At the 100th Caribbean, where the Great Plains begin. Any chance you would be Trinidad and Tobago? Haiti! What? Isn't Haiti like half of the country that is the Dominican, or half of the island that the other half is the Dominican Republic? What? what, what, what it doesn't, look, it doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look right to me. Am I looking at the wrong half? This is the west half. Looks like a damn crab trying to get a piece of plankton. I thought that the border was like a... I thought it was like a straight line. Just to be honest with you. I don't have a, a rigorous knowledge of the regularity or irregularity of all international borders. NA people be like, it's true. Canada and the U.S. was literally just a line. They fought for a long time, and then they're like, ah, oh, whatever. Split her down the middle. Tell that to Maine. Okay, I will if they take the lobsters out of their ears. <clears throat> so true, so true. What are you going to do? Come over here and get me? It's a long-ass flight, bro. Plus, you're starting in Maine, so you probably got to take a commuter jet to, like, a fucking major airport. Depending on the airport, it might not even fly directly here. It might take you, like, four flights just to get over here. You're not going to be angry by the time you land. You're going to be tired. You should be. You should get, you get some sleep. This is cursed. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
It's the Henry Cavill's haircut, man. It gets me every time. It's crazy to think that's what motherfuckers were just looking like in like the 1950s, man. Like you'd be waving to this dude. He'd live next door to you. He'd be like mowing his lawn or cooking up burgers on like a, a red charcoal grill on the front porch. And then he would go to his job working for the Department of Defense like building a satellite that could shoot a laser beam from outer space and destroy a city. Mid-century America, kind of crazy. I mean, look at the haircut, bro. Look at his hair. <laughs> look at his fucking hair. You think people were okay back then? Okay, well, let's be realistic. We have to get out of Doctor Who rather than get into it. Okay, I mean, there's, there's ways. There's certainly ways out of here. Ken Bone was in this movie? The, the prototypical undecided voter? I think that we're going to go... So we're trying to get the Agent Argyle. Simply put, Agent Argyle has too many people in it for me to narrow it down in my head. Dude, that Matt, Matt Smith picture is so funny. Chet Hanks was in this, huh? Can I just try something? Let's, let's learn something, okay? We'll go Chet Hanks. You got to put a little bit of respect, or maybe you feel the opposite. You know, I feel like Tom Hanks is trying to do right by his, by his son, right? <laughs> he's giving him a little bit of, he's giving him a push. He put him, he put him in Greyhound, put him in Larry Crown, Bratz 2007. Where am I trying? Okay, I'm trying to get to Sam Rockwell. Mm -hmm. Sam Rockwell. Mm, yes, delightful. Sam Rockwell. We go Larry Crown. I don't know shit about where I am, to be honest with you. I'm scrolling, man. Okay, d do the hard work. Sam Rockwell, Matchstick Men, Nicolas Cage, Allison Lohman, Jojo Rabbit, Scarlett Johansson, Taika Waititi, Three Billboards, Francis McDormand, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Zombieland. With Emma Stone. Emma, oh, whoa, 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 hang on. Brian Cranston, Little Miss Sunshine. I got it. I felt it crystallized. Little Miss Sunshine, Abigail Breslin. Zombieland. Emma Stone. Uh, Woody Harrelson. <laughs> Match to, uh, 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 three billboards. Sam Rockwell. Agent Argyle. We get there. Brian Cranston is in Argyle, man. Sorry, I didn't realize we had a chat full of the world's number one Argyle fans. You guys must be super excited for the Matthew Vaughn cinematic universe. It was on the screen. You guys, I'm just being honest with you. You guys are being disingenuous. I bet 10 people in chat remember that Brian Cranston was on the poster and everybody else is like, you're right, he was. He was on the poster. What you don't realize is that you and me were actually in the same boat. Sir, it was on the screen? Okay, fucking scanning electron microscope eyes having ass. I can't even make out what the shit this is. Looks like a, a CGI shot from The Flash. It's a, a pixel by a pixel. If you love Argyle so much, fucking, why don't you marry it? Maybe I will. I don't even know who the real Agent Argyle is. If I had to guess, I would assume that it's Henry Cavill because of that haircut and the fact that he's six foot two and built like a, like a NFL linebacker. It has to be the cat. No shot, bro. That doesn't even make sense. He's built like a shit brick house. <laughs> Can I say, by the way, some things are worse than they were 80 years ago. One thing that's definitely better, it's fucking sick to have indoor plumbing, bro. Can you imagine waking up at like 2.30 a.m. and having to walk outside at like minus 10 degrees Celsius and then go shit in like a wooden hole 
<laughs> on a on a splintered chair with no heating at all. I get maybe they just went maybe they just shit in like a, a pan next to the bed, but like that's way worse. Can you imagine? I don't know if I could do it, right? Like if I'm sleeping in bed with my wife, I don't even like to fart in front of her. Mostly because not like I'm embarrassed. I'm mostly just rude. Or I, I consider it rude to be like, I could go somewhere else and fart, but instead I'm going to like fill the area that you're in with toxic gas. But I definitely don't think I could lean over the side of the bed and like take a dump at 2 a.m. and slide it back under the bed and then just go to sleep. <laughs> There's no way, man. I don't think, I mean, back in the day, I guess that was the norm, but I don't think I could have done it, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Plumbing is crazy. I, uh, this is Don't Starve, bro. It's the same as, I can see the icons. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Hole in one. Skull and bones. Okay. We're wrong in basically every category. Uh, let's narrow it down. Let's pick a game from 2012. How about XCOM Enemy Unknown? Okay, that narrows down the time. Now let's pick a first-person shooter from 2018. How about... It's not 2018. How about Wolfenstein 2? 2? 2017, first person, single player. Now we're cooking something up. Now we're cooking something up. <laughs> Hi, Tomo. So it is an adventure. We know that. That's necessarily true. And it also has elements of... These? Am I crazy to think that there could be a little Escape from Tarkov in here? It is a Unity game. I guess Tarkov is definitely not single player. We know that now it's not Windows exclusive. A shooter simulator strategy in the adventure game. It's a little game by the name of Rust, which I don't believe is made in Unity. But... Okay, <laughs> it is made in Unity at, I thought that was like early access release, but disregard. Shooter, simulator, strategy, adventure, indie, action, survival, open world. And it's single player only. So I'm like, it's the long dark, but it came out four years after the long dark. Hi, Tomo. Shooter Simulator Strategy Adventure Andy. And it's first person. I mean, I'm just, I, I'm throwing out a guess that makes, okay. <laughs> I really thought that The Long Dark came out in like 2015. See, I, no disrespect, I dislike buttons like this. Because does this mean if I click it, it goes mute? Or does this mean it is muted? And when I click it, it's now on. See what I'm saying, bro? You see what I'm saying? There's, there needs to be some kind of... I speak for the everyman. There needs to be some kind of indication of its current status. Otherwise, because sometimes buttons say, like, on. That doesn't mean that when I press the button, it turns it on. That doesn't mean that it's on right now, but sometimes, like... Anyway, well, do you hear music? Well, we'll just wait until we hear Isaac go, ah. Magic mushroom. Okay, it's muted. It's a passive item that came out in Rebirth. It is found... somewhere. Easy. An item known as... I'm looking around my room. Hmm. Water bottle. Coke Zero. Chocolate milk. Hmm. 
Okay, it is found in the item room and it does modify your tears. Epiphora. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All I got to do is think of other tier two items, even though I don't know what tier anything is. Hmm. Eve's Mascara. Wrong. It is a black item that affects your tears. The silhouette. It's quite simple, really. It's a little brimstone. Well, well, well. <laughs> He's done it. We will become silhouettes when our bodies finally go. It does not affect your tears. Um, it makes me cry tears of happiness when I get it if I don't have a lot of damage because you can rely on little brimstone to carry you for quite some time. <laughs> Cigarette tearless stream when? Well, I mean, it's just a matter of time, right? As I am always talking about smoking. I honestly have no, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. I wouldn't even know the criteria one would use to evaluate them. It's vibes based. What is it about uh, drinking alcohol that makes people talk about cigarettes like they taste like a Baconator? As someone who's never smoked, I, what is like the, the mechanism for it? Both are vices? Yeah, but is there like, uh, you know how like you wouldn't eat ketchup by itself, but like you wouldn't eat french fries without it? Belgian people in chat are like, you said ketchup, do you mean mayonnaise? You should try it. I'm not going to start smoking. <laughs> it's just, it's too late for that. And it's one of the only times I've ever said that and recognized it as a positive. Smoking makes you cooler. I'm sorry to be like the ultimate millennial. I really don't feel that. I, I, I know people say that. But I, when I look at someone smoking a cigarette, I don't go, oh, that person's so cool. I don't go, whoa, like, fuck that person either. I just go, like, you know, you don't see that too much these days. <laughs> I, in a way, I feel bad for the smokers. Because I feel like no matter where you smoke now, at least in North America, like, it's basically illegal. Like, I don't know how you could be a smoker and live in a big city. Because you can't smoke inside. And then if you, like, smoke on your balcony, all the people that live above you are going to be like, yo, bro, chill out. Like, you know, we're not trying to partake. And then if you go outside and do it, you can't do it, like, on the sidewalk because people are walking by. And then if you do it, like, too close to, like, an air intake, the building manager will come out and, like, break your kneecaps. Like, I don't know. What do you do, man? How do you do it? Vaping's even worse. I have to tell... I'm not trying to make you... Like, feel bad. You do whatever you do. I'm sure there's lots of things I do that aren't cool. I walk on my toes, you know? Me, in my head, I'm like uh, John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever. But when people see me, they're probably like, what the hell's wrong with that dude's legs? <laughs> but, like, I have to say, as the arbiter of consensus, vaping looks, like, really uncool. Now, is it better for you? It might be. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not Russell Crowe from the in, the Insider, Michael Mann, 1999. But it kind of looks like you said I want to smoke, but smoke tastes yucky. Can you give me something that tastes like a Tim Hortons donut? I'm just saying. That's just me. Now I'm not saying quit vaping, start smoking. I'm just giving my opinion on the data points that I see around me. No game goes this hard. I've like, listen, this is irresponsible of a critic to do, but luckily I'm not a critic. I'm just a guy. No game has so obviously been game of the year, February of the year it came out, than Ballad Show. I, I almost can't fathom a game coming out that would beat this for me. It scratches the itch so well. I played 30 hours of the demo, and then when the game came out, I was like, I wonder if I'm burned out on it. Nope. Nope. Lots of good stuff here. 
There's lots of good stuff here. Pal World? Come on. Dude said Pal World. Elden Ring? Nah, I mean, listen. If you're concerned about the legitimacy of your take, if you're worried about 14-year-olds online saying, how could Balotro be game of the year? It doesn't even have 3D models in it. Then sure, you got to do what you got to do to keep your job, okay? Like, Elden Ring, I had a great time with. I'm excited for Shadow of the Erd Tree. But when I finish playing Elden Ring, my first thought is, let's go eat some lunch. When I finish playing Balotro, I'm like, I got to knock out all this admin shit so I can play some Balotro tonight. Can really tell chatters who come from YouTube versus chatters who come from the librarian? Excuse me. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's a better delineation than type A, type B. Do they watch youtube.com slash Northern Lion or the library of Letourneau? It's crazy that the people who watch me directly are more condescending. <laughs> and the people who, who smoke the filtered version are like, I'm pogging, caught, caught, caught. The people who watch me are like, on turn 17, you didn't have the, you had the glass card fourth in the order instead of fifth. And I'm like, I know you're not wrong, but like, I'm, I'm just sick of hearing it. It's, that's not your fault necessarily. I don't know if we can afford the voucher. I think I might have screwed myself on that one, to be honest. With you. Oh, Rare Joker sets money to zero, bro. Sorry. <laughs> no, really? What, do they got one rare joker in the game? Don't you read the YouTube comments? You ever hear the expression, um, you show me the incentives, I'll show you the outcomes? Probably take me two hours a day to scroll through all my YouTube comments and the vast majority of them make me feel bad about myself. That doesn't seem like a good use of my time. Now, you're well within your rights to continue posting them, don't get me wrong, but like, you know, let's be real here. Is it true, by the way? Listen, I know people, um, they accuse me of being a boomer. I'm actually, like, one of the least uh, boomer people my age on the planet. It's true. You can, you can hate me if you want for saying the truth, but it's true. I've been reading all the, like, uh, kind of ancillarily to the, like, r slash teachers, like, complaining that kids are, like, five years behind on their reading level, which which may well be true. I literally don't know. I'm not a teacher. I just entertain their kids after they get out of class. <laughs> I've seen posts on Reddit, so who knows, but they're from like, I'm a, I'm a HR manager who has been hiring the first Gen Z people that have made it into the workforce. And oh boy, so none of them know how search engines work. They just type one word into Google and then scroll until they get what they want. They don't know how to use the command line. They don't know like how to find a file in a directory, etc., etc. Some people were saying they don't know how to type. Uh, they they type with one finger, and then they never use like punctuation mark even in their corporate emails. I think I'm I'm putting nuts on the table. That's anti-Gen Z bias made up by someone online who wants to erode the social contract of the world. I don't believe that that's true. I believe that somebody has made that up and because it at first it appears to confirm your biases and come from a place of authority, you go, yeah, that seems like it could be true, but I don't believe that it is true or at least not true enough to be representative of the whole generation. And that's not just because one day I'm going to have to rely on Gen Z for income, okay? And possibly to take care of me in a nursing home at some point. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt, okay? It doesn't hurt. The oldest Gen Alpha is like 10? That's, I, I mean, I, I know, or I agree with you. I, I agree with the facts, I suppose. But it, uh, that's why I stand up for Generation Alpha. Whenever people are talking smack about them on online, I'm like, you're literally talking smack about like the oldest gen alphas in the fourth grade right now, bro. Like cut them some slack. They literally can't fight back. Every TikTok comment is like, why are kids these days so cooked? I know, and I, I can't say it because again, I rely on being in the good graces of public opinion in order to like continue to make my income. But the like people are like oh the kids attention spans are cooked these days because they're watching like Mitch, miss rachel on youtube and i'm like have you ever seen what the average adult watches on youtube and tiktok is fucking like 
a, a fake lawyer saying like don't pay your taxes they legally can't put you in prison and stuff like that a lady digging up like a whole mine shaft under her house and stuff like that like the, the kids are they're watching mostly like educational content now maybe some kids have too much screen time but like why don't you look at your media diet bro you're watching like insane conspiracy theories and stuff like that just mindless not everybody but a lot of mindless drivel out there like northern lion plays balatro episode 91 lovers me emperor me empress me and magician me Librarian, don't do that to yourself, okay? Don't say, look at that queen. I saw your tweets. The algorithm has sussed me out, and it sussed me out properly. It said, you tend to like tweets by this person. I said, that's damn true. But now I, the problem with that is that now I see your tweets. <laughs> and... <laughs> Not all of your tweets are funny clips of me. Some of your tweets are, belong to a very different genre. Not take not takeable. Because if it hits ice cream, I cry. Steel always good. Hanged man, nuts on the table move to cut more hearts from the deck. I co-sign the librarian tweet. He's spitting. So the wild cards in Balatro horn you up is what you're saying like i'm not it's not me saying that that's what you're saying because the wild cards and this is not me saying it this is a quote from you the wild cards <clears throat> remind me of running mascara can we just step through this like i, I think that's insanity they silence jesus too that's huge, like, crypto bro energy. They made fun of Thomas Edison for inventing the toilet, too. And now, we shit in one every day, bro. We're so early. <clears throat> Me personally, I do like creating cards. I want to see stand-up of you, but instead of standing up, it would be sitting down and in a room with two-way glass. I guess you said one-way glass. Now that I think about it, most glass is two-way glass, huh? Are you calling me... You want me to be arrested for speaking the truth? Hannibal Lecter style? How funny is it that they... I, like, I think it's genius, just to be clear, that they did this. But how funny is it that they had Hannibal Lecter strapped to a fucking hand truck, but then they also had that, like, leather mask? Like, the dude has such an insatiable hunger for human flesh that they were like, just having him strapped to the cart is not enough. Even with him being completely immobilized, some human flesh might find a way into his mouth. That's how you know that motherfucker was not kidding around. At some point, we're gonna want your ass to be wild. I'm sorry to say it, it's simply the honest-to-goodness truth. And then I'm still gonna discard you. Because the tarot card is worth more. And then we hermit. And then we fool. And then we hermit. And all of a sudden you'll be ashamed of your words and your deeds when I play a nearly royal flush. This is a, this is a, the Earl of Flushes. Retrigger all face cards. This is a very valuable card. Stop. <laughs> Please stop doing... Hannibal Lecter if he was uh, the duet boomer on TikTok. Human liver, it's, it's so good. Human liver dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. <laughs> Bisexual Hannibal Lecter. Excuse me, you haven't seen the TV show. Invisible Joker is insanely valuable. Imagine if it copied Sock and Bussin. Librarian when he sees a wild card. Save some money. ING direct. Play only one hand type this round. Should be doable. Unfortunately, you're not the ideal queen for us, but more face cards is very important.
eight nine ten Jack Queen. It's the twentieth time I've done that on DNA. <laughs> what do you think, guys? What do you like our odds on this one? gonna be tough <laughs> oh that stings that one stings let's call that ballot show three it happens it happens playing too fast should have exited and rebooted loser behavior no disrespect you're gonna take L's in life shouldn't be afraid to take them in a safe environment you see all those posts about uh People are starting to catch on to something that I've been saying for years. <clears throat> Endless optimization, especially of games, has led to decreased happiness for people who pursue gaming as a hobby. It's really, it feels like it's coming to a front in Helldivers 2, because on one side you have people that are like, I'm having fun with this game, running whatever loadout I want. And then you have hardcore Andrews who are like, if you're not running a grenade launcher and then the other three best stratagems, we're going to kick you off of the squad. It's crazy, man. I did see people in the tweets under it, though. Someone said, this is why I stopped playing chess when I learned it was just a memory lesson for two smart people playing against each other. And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. You, unfortunately, you got to... 703 elo and you said this is just a memory test and you're not you're not right once you get into the mid game it's creative thinking and problem solving and long-term planning and it's all novel okay but yeah if you're just constantly running into Anglin's gambit then i could see how that would be annoying i like to i'm fun maxing man that's the way i'm choosing to live my life i'm fun maxing like in balatro losing that last run was frustrating for like two seconds but then it was funny because I can remember it forever. Or until tomorrow, at least. Get delayed gratification. Yeah, but uh, like, have you learned nothing from roguelites? This is like Isaac 2015 over and over again. People are like, Eve's Mascara is great. Just get number one. And you're like, brother, uh, like uh, that's out of my hands. I don't have control over that. Reroll start at zero. No, no, no. Not necessary. Stop talking about mascara. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This game has so many dopamine triggering events. It's insane. It is, uh, I mean, local thunk. I don't know if you're here. You knocked it out of the park. There's nothing else that needs to be said. They're here. That's awkward now. I hate, dude. It's like, I, I can relate, okay? Because I'm also a big shot. I'm also a very important person, as you know. Um, sometimes I'll, like, go to a streamer's chat and I'll just, like, answer a question. And then, like, 50 people go, NL! Pog! And then, like, the streamer might not even know who I am, but they're like, whoa, oh, whoa, NL in the chat. And I gotta be like, hi. I'll shut up. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, like I didn't, I, I didn't. But now, like, the opposite is also coming true. Now Squeaks is so goaded with it. When I go into Squeaks chat and I type, nobody laughs at my jokes just because I'm the person who told them. It used to be, like, back in the day, I'd pop into Squeaks' chat and just be like, hello, and people would be like, hello, I can't. Now I go into Squeaks' chat and I'm like, I'm typing gold in there and people are just going, day one, day one. And I'm like, come on, man. Can you sing me the song you sang this morning? Are you trying to get me demonetized? Because it's working. Um, you're talking about, I mean, I didn't sing it to you, just to be clear. I sang it for chat. It was uh, Alanis Morissette's One Hand in My Pocket. And it's like... Um, I'm home and I'm gooning. I'm hard, but I can't quite come. I'm a shower, but it's frigid, baby. And what it all comes down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. 
Cause I got one hand on my ball sack and the other one is tickling my asshole. You could see it, right? Hey, local dog, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Good timing on that one. Thank you. <clears throat> New ringtone just dropped. Are you like a, a 19 year old British kid in 2008? You crashed your bus? Nah, I was getting ready to sell it anyway. Mm, fuck. Thank you. Thank you for your support, Jupiter me. Mm, I can't take an eternal joker. I'm sorry. I just, it, it cannot be done. I, I would rather run zero molts than take an eternal joker that I, I don't need. Hopefully. That's why they call me Mr. Glass. And they do, people. They do call me Mr. Glass. Donald Trump, if he played Mr. Glass the way M. Night Shyamalan originally wanted. Bruce, Bruce, you should know that that's why they, my bones, Bruce, they're not good bones. They used to be good bones. They're no longer good bones. The bones, they <laughs> shatter like glass. My skin is like tissue paper. It tears is what I'm trying to say. Kate, I've been there many times. You're going to say Ben where? Well, what I thought just happened is you typed Keck W and then did autocomplete, but then it didn't autocomplete with the good Keck W. Instead, it did like the twisted metal Keck W. It happens in Dan's chat all the time because Dan is, uh, I guess he's trying to sell his own emotes. He has his own version of Keck W. Then I pop into his chat, I type Keck W and it auto completes to that. And straight up, I just close the tab. I'm like, I'm out of here. I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> Same thing happens. If I go into somebody's chat and I type Pog and I hit tab enter before seeing what's going to get played or what, what what's going to get shown, I should say. And then it brings up the Komodo hype. I'm like, I'm out of here. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I completely understand, but I will not be caught dead dropping a Komodo hype in someone's chat. That's just not going to happen. It's good, though. No, Komodo hype. I hate to say it. Komodo hype is kind of cringe. I consider it kind of cringe. You can do whatever you want. What if your kid did it? Yeah, this doesn't make the point that you think it makes, though. In fact, it makes my point easier. 34-year-old men with beards doing what my three-year-old daughter does, like sharing that behavior, that's cringe. <laughs> that might even be the easiest test if something is cringe. Why'd you have to body that guy? Listen, okay? This is not my first rodeo. I've been taking blows from all comers for quite some time. With only one hand, we definitely need the retrigger. Even though we got the guaranteed flush. Oh, that's spicy though. <laughs> we come on. Come on. No! Okay, we go again. We go again. <clears throat> okay, how about some score this time? Hollow, hollow, a hollow, hollow, hollow. Sure, we go hollow. We go again. Banner's a bad pickup. Okay, Local Thunk, can you take some feedback from the chat? When I'm playing the game and I get a, a polychrome joker in the first shop, please do not give me a banner. That's not fair. Now, okay, all right, you know what? Apology accepted. They said live patching in chat and they are not joking. They didn't joke in the slightest. Sure, you know what? How about two of these square boys? <laughs> the problem is now we have to play four cards. So we can't really flush, but I think it, it'll, it'll be worth it. Okay, now we should settle down. We should have played some high cards on that. Oh, 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 no. Why? 
I can't take it. It 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 plays against the rest of my deck, and I don't have the money to begin with. But let's put it on fours. Well, let's put it on aces. We need steel. We got to figure out how we're getting past the needle. That helps. <laughs> Funny, but I don't think so. Ah, how delightful. Appreciate you, what you've done for me, but you don't help us on the needle. This is insanely important, especially with the polychromes. We're not, well, we are working with the duo now that I think about it. Now the chariot, more steel probably beats more malt. So let's buy, but not use. Especially if we're going long term. Now, do we have two pair? Yes. Molt them. Steal you. Whatever, just go with the ace, bro. Oh, that's gonna molt, right? My mistake. <laughs> Still gonna be pretty good. Son of a gun. You know what? That's why I brought my own. Yo, new tech. <laughs> well, now that we have discards, I think there's no choice. You must duplicate this Andrew, giving us more tarot cards. Man refuses to lock in. I'm not in charge of the banana, bro. What do you think I am? Dr. Potassium? I don't have control over that. So I'm, I'm getting slandered out here for stuff that's beyond my control. We can't afford to burn a discard. I almost always say we can. This is like the rare situation where we can't. How about a judgment? No judgment. I can't afford a Wheel of Fortune with pure ass in my hand. We gotta make some bonus cards, bro. It's the only way. You're due, though? All right. <laughs> That's all, I'm not mad at you. I, I made, I am of sound mind and I, when I made that decision. I was not making the decision under duress. My name is twitch.tv slash northern lion. I, I am in sound, I, I said the word wrong. It would have been a good bit, though. <clears throat> we go next, we have to go next. We have no choice but to go next. Okay, we can only play one type of hand. So you're telling me there's a chance. We, we need to get two pair on every single hand, I think. We need to get at least one more two pair. The problem with playing a straight is that when we play two pair, we get 20 mult times 1.5 times 1.5 times two. So how many fours? There's three fours, three sixes, two sevens, two eights, two nines, two aces. Godspeed gamers. Suck me. <laughs> you also can't cause of the boss blind. Fair enough, fair enough. Bro, this boss blind is tough. They're not joking around with this guy. This is the one. Local Thunk, I'm assuming that my... Um, two double tags already? I'm assuming that my... Uh, my uh, pants are in the mail. And also, I would say I am owed, backdated, with penalties and interest, approximately three consecutive wheels Whoops. <laughs> Three consecutive wheel payouts, please. Watch this. <laughs> Come on. I need some big cards, bro. I need some big boys. Foil queen, steel queen. Red seal ace, we take those. And a wild jack. Polychrome steel? I don't know what to do. Red seal steel. Poly okay, we have none jokers, right? But we got some great cards that we did not draw. But imagine if we did hold the ace. <laughs> Polychrome 5, that's also steel. In Mama Liz's chili oil. It is so not over. You have no vision. 
Hang on, guys, we might be cooked. Easiest thing to conceive of is a flush. Two steel cards. Hold. This is a holdable situation. I got one more in me. Buy some freaking jokers. So there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. I'm making four bucks. Just give me anything, man. Anything. <laughs> it's trash. It's trash, man. I can't take either. I'm not getting a straight. Maybe I have to go for a straight. I don't know. Jumbo Arcana, hope there's a judgment. Fuck it, bro. Fuck it. Guys, it's so doable. We're gonna have to play the queen anyway. We're gonna have to play the queen. We might as well save it because we gotta play a queen. We gotta I, I hate to dump a steel card. I, I do, I do, I do, I do. But we gotta we gotta play it at some point anyway to make the straight. Oh, seven, eight, nine, Jack, you motherfucker, you. Dump him. Dump him. One good straight gets us there. I lived, bitch. Okay, we literally... We can only play straights, bro. I'm gonna be discarding like a madman, but we can only, we can only play straights. You know what? Sell, sell me for two bucks. Buy the buffoon pack, get something better. Oh, brother! <laughs> it's, it's nothing! The jokers don't do anything! I mean, we're not going to be able to afford a rare joker. We, we got we to gotta burn this out, man. At least I feel like I, I can play other hands now. But is this hand even going to be close? It's going to 2x our molt. Who freaking cares, man? 252? <laughs> Fuck that. That's not happening. I'm over that one. We go next. I don't know. For right now, we're comfortable. We're comfortable right now. Just please do not play queen cards. You are not G-idle and you never will be. He's K-pop pilled? I owe it all to my wife, honestly. I would know very little K-pop if it were not for her. And you know, it's not like uh, I'm an indiscriminate K-pop enjoyer. There are K-pop songs I listen to and I say, I like that one. I feel like Dash by Nmix kind of goes crazy. Let me guess. I played four cards. Yep. <laughs> Very simple. Dump it. We literally can't play. Oh, we can play the king as long as we play. Oh, but then it plays a flush. <laughs> it is what it is, brother. This this time, this is a genuine intentional. Oh, could, could you just shut up for a second with this? Lock in. We're so back. <clears throat> Told you. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Some K-pop I listen to and I say that's not for me. Sometimes I listen to it and I go, you know what? That is for me. Thoughts on new jeans? Probably the most asked question in my chat over the last several years, apart from uh, why are you breathing so loud? Pause champ. I like them. I, I'm going to say the same thing. I like that, that they've got the Sega Dreamcast pause music. Would you eat a 10-piece? Interesting, but not long-term. I would eat a 10-piece uh, essentially any day of the week. Wow. I would eat them in a car, and I would eat them in a bar. I would eat them on a plane. We should be so lucky. I would eat them on a train. Did you guys like my Jay Leno joke this morning as well? I'm, I, like, I, I'm sorry to just fish for your approval, but... Uh, 
In response to Wendy's surge pricing, McDonald's has announced that it's going to follow suit next year. Experts expect that it, an Egg McMuffin ordered at 10.59 a.m. could cost as much as $10,000. I thought it was pretty good. Surge pricing at a restaurant, end of civilization shit. You know what, what annoys me? I just think baseball cards more fun, honestly. Me, five years ago, definitely would have been like, um, yeah, but you're not considering the other aspect of surge pricing. That means that instead of paying $5.99 for your combo, you know, if you go at non-peak hours, you might pay like $4.75. But me, 10 years later and jaded, I'm like, nah, man, not going to happen. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not how that's going to work. Historically speaking, at least. We have a discard. How droll, Niles. Hmm. Eight, ten, seven, eight, ten, Jack, Queen, King. Dipped in Mama Liz's Eat My Shit Oil. Seven, ten, King. Please, I can't. It's, uh, I've been infected by the mind virus. You're, you're cooking me. And for what, man? You really don't have any clubs left in this deck? Oh my god, they, there was one club left in the deck. A level three pair with a spade and a club. Not quite. We have one more hand. Oh my gosh. We have two more hands. Hang on, hang on, lock in. Play it, play it, play it. We can't not draw a flush. Four of a kind Andrews. No, flush is like times 18 molts. The flush. The flush is definitely in the building. <laughs> you know what? That's good timing. That's, we, it, it's a loss, but we made it to anti-10. That's a win, man. That's a win. Okay. Okay, we'll call it, I don't know, it's like Balatro 5. Let me see if Kate is ready to stream. Good Balatroing today. She's live already! See you tomorrow. Later. Hear me out here, guys. It's been stuck in my head. Alanis Morissette voice, okay? What it all comes down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I got one hand on my penis and the other one is squeezing my ball sack. I'm soft, but I'm gooning. I'm hard, but I cannot come. I'm, <laughs> I'm home and I'm gooning. I'm a shower, but it's frigid, baby. Cause what it all comes down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I got one hand on my ball sack and the other one's tickling my asshole. There we go, there we go.